Waxy cuticle, which is present on the surface of bifacial leaf and which prevents the water loss. This waxy cuticle is thick in xerophyte plant, which has low water supply. While this waxy cuticle is comparatively thin in hydrophyte plants. Below the waxy cuticle, there is the transparent epidermis which provide protection and transmit the light to the lower cell up for photosynthesis. So there is no chloroplast in epidermis. Below the epidermis, we have the palisade mesophyll. These columnar cells, they're tightly packed together and they contain a lot of chloroplast. And their main function is to absorb maximum light and perform photosynthesis. Below the palisade mesophyll, we have the irregularly arranged cell, which are creating a lot of space between that. This erenchyma spaces between these cells, they are forming spongy layer. And this spongy structure provides free spaces for gases exchange. But these cells also contain chloroplast, and these chloroplasts help them to also perform photosynthesis. But the number of the chloroplast are comparatively less in spongy mesophyll cell to the palisade mesophyll layer. Below to the spongy mesophyll, we have lower epidermis. This lower epidermis, as like upper epidermis, provide protection, but they contain stomata, and these stomata are formed by two sausage-shaped cells, which are joined together and provide a way for a gaseous exchange. And the gases are moving through the stomata down their concentration of the gradient. For example, the carbon dioxide move from outside to the inside, while the oxygen, which is produced in the result of photosynthesis, is moving from inside to the outside. And the water in the form of stomato transport is evaporating from the surface of the stomata. Next, we have most important part in the bifacial wave that is vascular bundle. This vascular bundle for the transport of water and mineral and for the photosynthetic product. So we can see this vascular bundle is divided into two parts. One part is above, these are the xylem cell. This xylem cell transport water with mineral from the ground to the aerial part of the plant, while the lower part of this vascular bundle is phloem. The phloems are the living cell, and they transport the photosynthetic product. When the plant performs photosynthesis and producing the starch, and this starch is converted into the sucrose, and this sucrose transfer to phloem and the phloem transported to the area where it is stored or is being used. The next, we are moving to a comprehensive slide. And in this, we studied about the bifacial wave consists of the waxy cuticle layer, which provide pre preventions of a loss of extra water. What about the lower, we have transparent epidermis, below we have palisade mesophyll for photosynthesis, while spongy mesophyll, the primary function is for gases exchange, and the lower epidermis provide protection and have stomata for gases exchange, while the vascular bundle present in this leaf for transport of water and mineral and photosynthetic product. We're going to see the type of questions might possible relevant to the bifacial leaf. A leaf shoot is placed in a solution of red dye. After 30 minutes, which part of the leaf from this shoot will contain red dye? So we can see, so water is moving in xylem of vascular bundle. So the xylem is our C. While A is epidermis, B is palisade mesophyll, and the D is spongy mesophyll. The diagram shows the sections through the leaf, which arrow shows the direction of diffusion of carbon dioxide on a sunny day. On the sunny day, if the, perform if the plant is performing photosynthesis and it's absorbing carbon dioxide, so the carbon dioxide will be less inside of the leaf. 
So this will move from outside to the inside down their concentration of the gradient. So the D is our answer. We have the plant diagram of the bifacial leaf. In this plant diagram, we have upper epidermis, we have X layer, this is palisade mesophyll. Below that, we have a spongy mesophyll, and below we have lower epidermis. So, which type of cell is found in layer X? So, this at layer X contain columnar-like cell. This column-like cell, this is X, A is our column-like cell. The next is the diagram shows the structure of cell from the leaf of a plant. What type of cell are they? So we need to identify the type of cell. These are flake cell, no chloroplast, and they are used for protections. Yes, it is upper epidermis or lower epidermis. So here we have the diagram shows a cross sections through a leaf. What is the cell label X? So the cell label X is belongs to the palisade mesophilia. Why? Because these are column-like cell and tightly packed together. We have a type of critical question. A bar chart shows an average number of chloroplasts in each of three different type of the leaf cell. Now, we need to identify on average number of chloroplasts present in these three different type of cell, the type of cell or type of tissue in the plant leaf. For example, the number two, the highest number of average chloroplast cell, while three contain median and the one contain lowest number. Now, when we are observing about the leaf structure, so if we move from upper epidermis to the downward in direction, so the intensity of the light availability decreases. So availability of light controls the number of chloroplast. So the highest number of the chloroplasts are present in palisade mesophyll. And then we have the lower number are the spongy mesophyll, which is present below the sp sp palisade mesophyll. And lower we have guard cell, which has lowest number of chloroplast. So here we have A is our answer. One is the guard cell, and number two are palisade mesophyll, and number three is spongy mesophyll. Here we have completed. Hope you got idea and it will be helpful for you. If you have further question, you can put in the comment box. Thank you.